Hi, I'm here with Brenda Peluso from the Maine Association of Nonprofits, and they have their annual meeting coming up. So, Brenda, why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Great, sure. Our annual meeting um, is a leadership conference. Uh, we hold it every year about this time, and for the last two years, we've partnered with Colby College, and we hold it in their beautiful facilities in Waterville. And uh, we, we will start this year, March 31st, Wednesday afternoon. We've got a couple of sessions in the afternoon, and one is aimed at students uh, thinking about getting into the nonprofit sector as a career. The other one I'm really excited about, we just did a public perception survey of the nonprofit sector and uh, of the general public in the state of Maine. And the early results are really interesting, so I'm looking forward to talking about what, uh, what Maine people think about the nonprofit sector, what they know about it, and what motivates them to give, donate their time and their money. So we're going to be talking about that and how nonprofits can use that information to better engage the public in, in what they do. I know that Maine is sort of rich with nonprofit organizations. Um, are there any preliminary results about how people perceive that in the state? Actually, we were really pleased. The, um, the results show that the public really supports the nonprofit sector. Um, and they know uh, quite a bit more about it than I thought they did. And so that's going to be, it's, I think it's, it's really interesting. It's the first time we've done this kind of a survey. Oh, really? And mm -hmm. so the results, the full results are going to be uh, disseminated for the first time at this conference? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so that should be motivation for people to come. Yeah. What, what does Maine Nonprofit Association do for those people who may not be familiar with it and not be associated with a small nonprofit in their area or a big one? What does the Maine Association of Nonprofits do for nonprofits? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're, um, we're a management support organization, so our job is to make sure that um, the business side of your organization is well taken care of so that you can do your mission. We basically want to support you in better, you know, in enhancing the quality of life in Maine. So if we can help you be more efficient on the financial side, uh, recru recruit a better board, um, uh, use technology better, ways that you can find efficiencies to run your nonprofit better. And so the, the, the uh the, the kinds of things that will be happening at the annual meeting is a two-day event people can yep. stay over there. They're all sort of geared toward that same kind of uh, technical assistance with being a nonprofit. Sort of. Our annual meeting is a little bit different than our technical assistance and our training programs, which we do about 10 of those a month around the state. Our annual meeting is more about how do we get together, network, and really provoke some thought. We've got two keynote speakers. On the night, Wednesday night, uh, Doris Buffett is going to be speaking, and she's a, the sunshine lady and the sister of Warren Buffett. And she's been really instrumental in starting a lot of great work here in the state of Maine. So she's going to talk about her philanthropic work. And then the next day, on Thursday morning, we have Dan Pallotta, who is really sort of a charismatic and um, uh, figure and he's a little controversial so that should be interesting and he's going to do a talk about how he's written a book called Uncharitable and it's about how the current legal structures really hold back the nonprofit sector and he's going to propose some pretty radical ideas and so the idea about our annual meeting is really to get people thinking inspire them remind them why they do this work and you know help you know recharge their batteries get back out there and start doing the hard work it sounds really interesting to me is this this focus on getting students involved and thinking about nonprofit careers uh, and you actually get the, probably the students from Colby will be attending mm -hmm. that a lot. Yeah, yeah, and we have a panel of some younger, some older nonprofit uh, career people, and they talk about why they got into the sector, how rewarding the career has been. They give advice on, you know, what kind of education do you need, what kind of experience should you get, how to get into the sector. <laughs> that uh, would have been really helpful for me. I went to Colby, <laughs> <laughs> and I never thought I'd be working in the nonprofit sector, and that's pretty much all, I did, all I've done since yeah. my career. So that, that should be really great. Well, well, thanks a lot. Now, if people want to uh, find out more about it or sign up or register for the annual meeting, how do they do that? They can come to our website, which is nonprofitmain.org. And or they can give us a call, 871-1885. Great. Well, thank you very much for joining us. Great. I appreciate thank it. Thank you. Hope a lot of you can make it. Back to you, Beth.